Good morning, everybody. How's it going? This is my Monday morning expanding exercise. And um, I wanted to ask you, where are you putting your energy? I heard this, uh, what was it called? I don't know, some session that Dr. Dane here did over the weekend, I think it was. I don't know, the days are all kind of blurring together. But he was saying, you know, with plants and animals, they don't look back at the past and try to figure out how to undo something or judge themselves about something. They're always putting their energy into creating now and the future like even if a tree falls down it still grows many times and it, it'll like fall and then it'll grow this way um it's just continual growth and moving forwards and i just love that instead of looking back trying to figure out stuff judging yourself for things what if you just set all that stuff aside and look forward to what well, what would i like now what would i like next where can i put my energy today to create what would bring me joy right away and so today with the expanding exercise let's let's do that let's expand out and then play with putting our energy into what we desire. So lower your barriers and relax. Relaxing is an art. <laughs> Apparently it's not as easy as many people think. Well, it's probably the thinking that gets in the way. But just take a few breaths and relax. Get into your body and out of your head. Start wiggling your toes and feeling your feet on the floor. Put your hands on your lap or on your belly or on your chest and get present with your body. That will help you pull, pull yourself out of your head. And then once you're present with your body, now let's move beyond it. So start to perceive the space around your body. Make a nice big bubble around your body that continually expands in all directions. You are the space. You the being. And you're infinite, so you don't have to try to squeeze yourself to fit inside your body. You can expand beyond it and give your body more space to relax. So expanding out into your neighborhood, beyond that, going deep into the earth. over all of the all of the mountains all of the oceans up into the sky past the moon the stars the other planets <sighs> noticing how your body relaxes as you are expanding out Noticing how quiet your mind gets. And it's so quick. What if this is one of the ways that you can de-stress? Just simply take a moment, lower your barriers, and expand. And now, if there's anything going on in your head, 
that's niggling at you and keeping you distracted. Ask it to go. Choose the space. So what would you like to invite into your life? Where would you like to put your energy today? Is it into creating something for you, creating relationships, creating business, creating health for your body? Is it contributing to others? What is it that you would like to put your energy into? And is it all of these things? What if you don't have to choose just one? You're an infinite being. Can you flow your energy into many different channels simultaneously? Let's see. Let's try. So let's use, there's in Access Consciousness, we, we do some numbers and we do like this. Um, and the number four is clearing all the pathways to whatever the future you'd like. So it opens up all, all the possibilities and it clears all of our points of view and the projections that we've maybe bought into or created about whatever. So let's just do a four for all of the things that we were putting our energy into creating that we think, oh, I don't know if this is going to happen. Can it be this easy? Uh, you know, it hasn't happened in the past. Uh, I'm not sure how to do this. Let's just take all of those points of view and do a four. So gather up your energy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now like look out towards the things that you'd like to be putting your energy into today. And is it a lot smoother? And let's go to the space where it's already actualized however far in the future that is and tap into the energy of what that feels like to have whatever it is that you're asking for and pull that energy into now and then you can go out into the future again to where you have everything that you're asking for. Oh, it's, it seems like it's closer. And perceive that energy and pull it into now. It only takes a second. This is part of the energetic creation that's possible, creating magic. And when things start showing up that you've asked for, acknowledge it that you've created it, that you've asked for it. As soon as you ask for something, that is the creation. The actualization is when it shows up. So acknowledge that you created it because you asked for it. And the more we acknowledge, the quicker it can actualize. And if you'd like to learn more of these energetic tools and magic, there's so many possibilities. Check out my website, julietootenenergy.com. Uh, or even check out my YouTube channel. I'll put links below. And thanks for joining. Thanks for 
playing, contributing your energy, and I can't wait to see what you're going to create. Have an amazing day.